Uh, if you're following along in this series, you're going to be thinking, wow, there's a lot of things about sin in the Lutheran church. And, um, you know, it's part of every Christian tradition. It's, it's why we need God, however you define sin. Our brokenness is a, a way that I like to think about it. You know, our, our being flawed, our simply the fact of being human. Um, and so in the Lutheran tradition, we have this phrase, uh, we have a lot of phrases for things, which make them kind of catchy, but uh, we have this phrase called, we are sinners and saints at the same time. So rather than um, being in the cycle that, that Martin Luther experienced uh, in his time, where you were either in a state of grace, you know, a state of purity, in right relationship with God, or you weren't, it was either or, either or, sinner or saint, Martin Luther said, we are both sinner and saint at the same time, which means as a saint, not kind of like, you know, the old saints you might see in the stained glass, but as people of God, as children of God, um, we are able to do incredible things because we have this gift of God's spirit within us because God calls us to love and serve our neighbor. You know, in a given day, you can do something that just kind of amazes you you know, that you didn't know you had in you, that maybe you transcended, you know, your, yourself or your situation in a way that was spiritual and beautiful and amazing and you saw it and people recognized it, you know, you're a saint. And at the same time, we're sinners because we trip up over, our, over ourselves all the time. It's just part of our daily existence. And so we're sinners and saints at the same time. We're not one or the other either or we're both and and so we hold the the reality of our humanity and our relationship with god together um, which is a much more sane way i think to live and to understand with uh, ourselves and to to live with ourselves and others